Hey, you guys, it's me, Chantariel, and welcome to my page. As you can see, that's me in this big portrait right here. But I wasn't too pleased with this portrait because I needed a border. At first, it looked like that. Ew. So I decided I was going to turn it into this beautiful thing right here. And how did I do it? Well, here it go. I started with some cardboard. Some empty boxes that I wasn't using anymore. I folded them up and... I turned it into a masterpiece. So what you're going to do is roll it. You're going to glue it so it does not come apart. And you're going to do each piece like that. I did enough to surround each of the corners. And as you can see, I'm lining them up. And you see, somehow they have to stick together. So um, what do you use? You're going to need some duct tape. And there you go. Um, you can supposed to use the paper duct tape, but I use that kind of duct tape. It really doesn't matter. So now you're going to take them all together. And remember, guys, this is going to be your border. So you're going to have to do it on each corner. And this is how it's going to look. So right here, as you can see, I'm stapling the back of the picture. Um, so what's going to happen is I have to find a way to make that border that I just made stay. So I... I thought about stapling some cardboard on the outer side so that way I can glue the part that I made and put it on and glue it on the back. So as you can see right there, that's how I have it stapled and that way I'm going to staple it all the way around. So the excess cardboard, I'm going to cut it, but not too much because you want your border that you made to be glued on to it once you turn the uh, picture around. So right here, you see the cardboard that I stapled around the back of the borders. Well, now you're gonna flip the picture around and that same cardboard you um, stapled, you're gonna glue the border that you made earlier to it on each end. And this is how it should look. That way it's gonna stay, if you get what I'm saying. So now you have get you some paper towels, get you some glue, and get you some water, all about from the Dollar Tree. Um, now you're gonna get your glue, um, and you're gonna make a water solution, cause that way you have to um, glue your paper towels on there. I chose purple as my backing because I just, I am in love with purple, that's like my favorite color. So here's my glue solution. Make it how you want it, but I made it in a way where it's not too watery. You know, you don't want anything too too watery or too thick so it was in the middle so here i'm going to use my paper towels and as you see i am gluing down the solution so that i can put the paper towel on i know you don't get what i'm doing right now but look see there right there bow and once you do it you got to do it all the way around the borders so you won't have to do all that painting of course i'm going to paint it purple as well but this will define it and also cover up the tape parts that don't need to be on there. You can't just paint purple over it and then, you know, you will know that it's tape around the borders. But if you put the napkins around it, you wouldn't be able to tell. So you just keep going on around the borders of it and making your solution as much as you can. So now that is how it should look all the way around but we're not done so now you're gonna cut you some little strips up because you want that um antique looking um border as well so i have to cut a whole bunch of pieces of cardboard up now you gotta fold it mm -hmm. it's a lot of work it really is it's not as easy as you think it's very time consuming so now you're gonna glue it And keep going around the borders. And, you know, that's some of it. That's how it's going to look. It's going to give you that, mm, that really nice looking look. So you just keep continuing going on. And um, this is how it should look. You see? And as you go around, you see I'm still not done with the top. So I'm going to add that top part on there right there. Hold it a little so, you know, it's a definite. But now that is how we're looking. It is beautiful, but we're missing some things. So, you know, I'm going to have to go in and, you know, color it purple. So now you get your, your purple paint and you add some water to it. I also got that paint from the Dollar Tree. 
I love the Dollar Tree. That's like my favorite store, you guys. So, go ahead and make your solution. Add you some water in it. And stir it up. Add you some plastic so that you won't um, get any paint on the floor if you have a small space like I do. And you just go ahead and paint. Paint till you can't paint no more. You gotta do all the surrounding areas like that. I just make sure it dry. I mean, um, it didn't take too long to dry. I guess like once I finished going around the, the border, it was kind of already dry. I'm definitely not done, but I want you to see my progress so far. So voila, now I'm done. Look at all the purple. But you know, like I said, I wanted an antique look. So what do you do to add an antique look? You're going to get some gold paint. So I also got some gold paint from the Dollar Tree. And I put it on top of it to give it that, that look. And you know, you just keep going around the borders. You know, um, you can choose any color. But these is like my favorite color. Gold and purple is just everything to me. Um, so you see how antique it looks antique whatever it just looks really good and i'm just so proud about how it came out look at it look at that you can't tell me that you can tell that that is cardboard like look at it so beautiful mm -hmm. just giving you a little zoom in you know and voila there's some magic right there you guys Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And remember, everybody needs a touch from Terry. See you guys next time. Thank you.